Hey, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing and assembling the Yakima, or is it the Yakima, Fold Click 2 bicycle rack to go onto the back of my Tesla Model Y. I purchased this from Wilson's Bike Hub in Warrawong, New South Wales. Great advice and excellent after sales service. We've got a couple of e-bikes that I want to be able to transport with us when we go away on road trips. And I also have a Teleria Sting electric motorbike. And it will be a bonus, but not essential, if the rack can carry this as well. I looked at other manufacturers' products as well, including the Easy Fold from Thule. And in the end I went with the Yakima, basically because it was available off the shelf. And it is rated to carry over 60 kilograms, which is what I need. So the rack comes well packaged, as you might expect. The additional components that are in the box include the tow ball to go on your hitch. I recently had that added to my Tesla Model Y. And if you're interested in seeing that process with the Tesla Model Y, have a look at this video called Model Y tow package on this channel. Along with mounting screws for the auxiliary number plate and a full instruction manual which of course nobody ever reads but in this case it turned out to be particularly valuable. And the connecting rods to hold the e-bikes onto the back of the rack. There's a short one for the first bike and a longer one for the second bike. So it's tempting when you get it out of the box to open the thing up. But that's when you realise it was necessary for the manufacturer to put a sticker on the back saying do not open off a tow ball. Because it really needs to be sitting on the tow ball to be opened up. I'm just generally getting familiar with the product at this point. Having a look at how all the components work and how the indicator and brake lights fold out from the main construction and where the tow bar would fit into the receptacle. These are the main components out of the box and underneath the instruction panel there is an area to mount the auxiliary number plate and it has some punch out sections for easy mounting. So let's mount the rack on the back of the Tesla. The first time is a little unnerving as the fold click rack operates as the name suggests. You fold it down and click it and then it has a bit of loose play on the back of the tow ball. The brake lights and indicators fold out on each side. And the tracks to secure the e-bikes to the rack simply fold out as well. The electrical wiring harness is pre-wired to the Australian standard and plugs straight in. And at this point you can lock the rack to the tow ball with the key provided. The Tesla Model Y detects the electrical connection and automatically goes into trailer mode. So I ran a test of the brake and indicator lights, but I made the mistake of trying to close the trunk. Don't be doing that. Trailer mode doesn't prevent the trunk from being closed, I presume because it assumes you've tilted the rack backwards or possibly you are towing a trailer and it won't interfere with the trunk. The Yakima rack is designed to tilt backwards with a load on it so you can open and close your trunk. There is a surprising amount of loose play in the rack on the tow ball and this bothers me a bit so I'm going to look into it more. And the electrical connections are all operating as you would expect. They're correctly wired. The e-bike support braces have 
locks so that the bikes can be secured to the rack. Fitting those to the rack though proved the old adage that if everything else fails read the instructions. I found you need to push on the end of the brace to open the claw so that it attaches to the bracket. The first of the bikes lifted easily onto the rack and I was able to get the cross brace into position and tighten it up. The front and rear wheels are then held in place using the ratchet straps that attach to the bike rack. I could see though that the pannier would have to be removed from this bike to be able to get the second one into position. There is still a rather alarming amount of free play of the rack sitting on top of the tow ball so I investigated to make sure that it was secure in place, it's locked and I also checked to make sure that the indicator wasn't red but in fact green on the tow ball connector which it is. I was bothered by all of this movement though so I took the car with the rack back to Wilson's bike hub and asked their opinion. The technician there had a close look at it and could see that the tow ball itself was actually moving. Apparently in the manual, if you ever read it, it says to tighten to 200 newton meters and clearly I hadn't done that. So he got under the car there with a large wrench and tightened the tow ball so there was no movement at all. And now the problem is solved. It's important to make sure the wiring harness isn't dragging on the ground. As you would expect, the reversing camera on the Tesla is partially obscured by the rack. So I thought I'd have an attempt at getting the Teleria Sting onto the bike rack. Without the battery, the Sting is around 50 kilograms, so it's well within the weight limit of the Fold and Click 2 rack. I can see how I can make this work, especially if I have a ramp to help get the bike up onto the rack. The cross clamp is not a perfect fit, so that would need some modification, I think. Removing the rack from the tow bar is really just the reverse of the installation process. Fold in all of the tracks and the brake and indicator lights. And of course I attempted to just lift it off. But you need to lift the release handle which I discovered after reading the manual one more time. I've checked for loose play in the tow bar and there is a very little bit but it's not significant. So the tow bar can be removed from the Tesla Model Y and then the original plastic cover plate can be snapped back into position. So if you're interested in bikes in general, e-bikes, push bikes, off-road riding, adventure riding, electric motorbikes, then check out my other channel on YouTube called Steve's Bikes. Thanks for watching. G'day and welcome to Steve's Tesla. This is my channel dedicated to electric vehicles and renewable energy. Subscribe now and let's drive.